Well, greetings viewers and voyeurs with Got That Funk. How you doing? Uh, this video has been a long time coming and I'm sure it's not the last video that I'm going to make on this subject, but I can no longer hold my tongue. I've got to speak up. I've been watching with some interest the uh, unfolding presidential race in America as we get toward the primary season. And I've been watching with great interest both the Democratic side and the uh, Republican side. On the Democratic side, I am encouraged to see how well Bernie Sanders' campaign seems to be taking off, and I hope that continues. And I will no doubt be making videos in support of Bernie's campaign as, uh, as the primary season comes along. But for now, I think I can hold my tongue on that one. What I can't hold my tongue about, though, is the Republican primary race. Now, as some of you might recall back in 2012, uh, I decided to register as a Republican voter because I wanted to have a say in the Republican primaries, figuring that that's where my vote in the primary season would do the most good. I still plan to vote for Obama in November, but I wanted to make sure that I had a vote which, you know, had some meaning to it because I knew Obama was already going to be the candidate since he was the incumbent president. Uh, however, when it came to the time for my primary, my candidate had already dropped out. I'm a California voter. California's primary is quite late in the season. And uh, my guy, John Huntsman, who I wasn't really enthusiastic about, but I saw him as the least objectionable of all the Republican candidates at the time. So I didn't even get to vote for the primaries. Anyway, um, this time around, though, I find the entire Republican field utterly loathsome and unelectable. Most of them I'm not going to mention. I'm going to concentrate on the one that seems to be getting the most attention for whatever bizarre reason that is, and that is the one and only Donald Trump. Now, I'm vexed completely by the apparent popularity of Donald Trump's campaign. And I've watched quite a few videos uh, about Donald Trump and, and uh, some of the, the positions that he holds. And uh, I've paid a lot of attention to the comment sections of those videos and so on. And what blows me away is a lot of the people who seem to be quite supportive of Donald Trump say they are supportive of him because he's just so damned honest. Are you fucking kidding me? Donald Trump, honest. As I said in the comment section to Steve Shives' video, Five Stupid Things About Donald Trump, honesty requires some level of personal integrity and adherence to facts. I don't see that coming from Donald Trump. There's a difference between being blunt and brash and being honest. And I will give Donald Trump the fact that he is blunt and brash. I will not concede that he is honest. Just in general, in his public persona, he does not strike me as an honest person. There may be some things that he's saying that have an element of truth in them, but like most good liars, you know, if you wrap a lie inside a truth, it makes it easier to swallow. And I think Donald is quite good at that little form of lying. Um, but let's let's just say for the sake of argument that, that he hasn't been uh, twisting the truth or, or, or whatever and that he is honest. Let's just let's just assume that everything he says is true uh, for the moment. Donald Trump has no experience in politics whatsoever. None. Zero. Zip. When Barack Obama was running for president after having only served one term as a state senator, um, everyone was going on about how his lack of political experience was a huge handicap to his campaign. Why doesn't anybody say that about Donald fucking Trump? I've not heard one person say, yeah, but you've never tried politics. You've never been in politics. You don't know how to how government works from the inside. You have no idea how to play this game. No one says that to Donald. Uh, I watched a few excerpts from the uh, Republican, um, what do you call it, debate, in quotation marks, a week and a half ago. And... Uh, Donald Trump's performance apparently got him a 47% approval rating when there's 10 people on the stage. That is monumental and by no means can be written off as some sort of statistical fluke. And it makes me aware that uh, Donald Trump's candidacy might actually be viable. He might actually win a couple of states in primaries and once you start winning states and other candidates start dropping out, you have a better shot than you did from at this distance away. And I just can't believe people are buying into Donald Trump. I mean, he admits to political bribery. He admits it. And that's okay, apparently. Nobody seems to have a problem with that. And uh, 
his statements about his daughter just blow my mind. I mean, you know, every father thinks his daughter is beautiful, but not every daughter says he would date, every father says he would date his daughter if, he, if she wasn't his daughter. I mean, that's just to me is creepy as fuck. And you want this guy to be president? Are you kidding? I just, oh. being good in business and being good in politics are definitely not the same thing, people. If you're a supporter of Donald Trump, or if you even think Donald Trump's candidacy is viable, if you think that he's better than the other people in the field, that is a poor reflection on the other people in the field. It's not a good reflection on Donald Trump. And let's let's be honest, the other people in the field are fucking scumbags, okay? The entire GOP roster for the presidential nomination is full of unelectable people. Every single one of them, I don't think, either deserves to be the president or would be safe having the keys to the White House. I just don't think that's the case for, and it's not because I'm a liberal. It's because these people keep beating the same boring ass issues, which to me are not issues. They keep going on about gay marriage and how we should defy the Supreme Court. What kind of person who seriously wants to be president of the United States, the leader of the executive branch, wants to do away with the, uh, one of the other main branches of government or wants to disregard our constitutional fucking laws? How can anybody who pretends that they want to be president look at a camera with a straight face and say shit like that and expect to be nominated for president? What the fuck are we living in now? I, I can't believe these candidates are getting away with saying this shit. And Donald Trump is the worst of the lot. To admit to political bribery, to admit to fucking wishing you could date your daughter, to, to admit to... What else has he fucking admitted to? This whole thing about building a wall between the USA and Mexico is... I hate to use ableist fucking language, but it's retarded. I'm sorry, but it is. It is literally thick as fucking shit. If you think you can build a wall for hundreds of miles that will stop people from coming in. As if no one's ever thought about tunneling under a fucking wall, please. What are you going to do? Build a wall fucking 100 feet down under the ground at 100 feet high? Is that what you're going to do? And he's gonna says he's going to make Mexico pay for it? Please. And then they press him on it. They say, how are you going to make Mexico pay for the wall? Oh, I will. I will because I'm Donald Trump and I will just make them pay. What are you going to do? Hold a fucking gun to the president of Mexico? What the fuck? How are you going to make them pay? It just it, He keeps on doing this as well. He, he, he says, oh, I'll be strong against ISIS. What will you do against ISIS? Oh, you give me the keys to the White House and I'll show you how strong I can be. And people fucking lap that shit up like a thirsty puppy. It pisses me the fuck off. He's not even answering the questions. Don't get me wrong. There's Democrats that don't answer the questions. Hillary Clinton, for example, doesn't answer questions properly. I couldn't trust Hillary. As much as I have some admiration for Hillary as a politician and as a, as, as a liberal, uh, she's too far to the right of me for me to give her any enthusiastic support. I would certainly prefer her to any of the GOP candidates running, but let's be honest. Bernie Sanders at least is talking about issues. He's not only talking about what the issues actually are, but talking about how we can possibly solve these issues. None of the other candidates are actually doing that. Right across the board, none of them. So Bernie's going to have my vote, simply because he's actually campaigning about shit that matters and so on. Donald Trump is trying to make issues out of non-issues and skirting across issues that are really issues. I mean, you know... American interventions abroad, in my opinion, have already gone way too far. And God help us if Donald Trump gets the keys to the fucking White House and his hand on the fucking nuclear codes. Oh, my God. Any of the Republicans, for that matter. I mean, some of these people genuinely want to bring about the fucking end of the world, for Christ's sake. Thank goodness Michelle Bachman's not running again. Not that she had a chance, but she openly admits that uh, she thinks we're uh you know heading toward the end times and blah 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 and to have someone like her be president is terrifying to me so yeah i don't like the donald can you tell and i i just can't understand i mean i know that uh you know we've had a generation or two generations of you know dumbing down of the political discourse in america but please how can anybody seriously contend for the presidency of the United States when they won't even say answers to their own fucking propositions? How are you going to pay for the wall, Donald? How are you going to make the Mexicans pay for the wall, Donald? Why do you think the wall will stop Mexicans from coming into the country illegally, Donald? Are you fucking insane? You think none of them ever heard of swimming? Or getting on a boat? Or hell, 
just traveling to America legally and then staying once they get there. Hello, that happens all the time. What are you going to do about that? What are you going to do about the actual problems facing America? I think illegal immigration is probably somewhere far down compared to all the bigger problems that we've got in America. Let's talk about those big problems. Let's talk about answering some of those big problems. Let's not talk about fucking how we're going to make Mexico build a wall or whether or not Donald Trump uh, is a misogynist or whatever. I mean, I don't know Donald Trump personally, so I don't necessarily think he's a misogynist, but I do think that he has... Um, uh, what people consider his honesty, his bluntness, uh, I think is his basic lack of social awareness and disregard for, you know, common courtesy is what I think. And I don't think having a disregard for common courtesy is a particularly good trait in any human being. And it's not one I would particularly value in the president of the United States. I think the president of the United States, by definition, ought to have some regard for the necessity of tact, diplomacy, fairness, open-mindedness, inclusiveness, shit like that. That's just me. Maybe I should run for fucking president. I don't fucking know. I can't run for president. I've done too many drugs and slept with too many women. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching this video. Let me know your feelings about Donald Trump for president. Um, don't hold back, people. And if you're a supporter of Donald Trump, I mean, I, I, I seriously doubt any of my audience is. But if you are, I invite you to try to sell me on your point of view. Go ahead. Give it your best shot. You know, I, I try to be as open-minded as I can be. Um, so yeah, I will listen politely to anything anyone has to say. Video responses are equally welcome. I want to thank you for watching this video. And until next time, may the funk be with you. Always. Oh shit.